Hello crafty friends, my name is Alicia, but you can call me Crafty Owl, and it is time for the monthly show us your sheet load slash happy mail video. I hope you'll stick around and see what beautiful cards came in my P.O. box this month. Thank you so much for stopping by today. If this is your first time to my channel, I hope that by the end of this video, you'll be inspired to click on that subscribe button below and ring that bell for notifications. If you're already a subscriber and regular viewer, welcome back. I'm so glad that you're here again. Each month as I open my happy mail, I always like to share a look at it with you as well. Sometimes these will be sheet load cards, other times they'll be cards just because. Now if you ever want to send me happy mail, my P.O. box address is in the description box below. And if you're going to show us your sheet load, I have a link to the guidelines video down there as well. You can share a video here on YouTube, a post over on Instagram, or send in a card for the end of the month video. If you're interested in seeing what other subscribers have created using the latest sheet load of cards, I will make sure to link in the description box below, the hashtag search here on YouTube and over on Instagram. I'm sure everybody would love for you to stop by and see what they're creating. Let's go ahead and open this mail. Before we get to this month's mail, I did want to stop by with a special channel member shout out. I would like to say thank you for your support and welcome to my newest paper trimmer level members, Kathy Smith and Wanda Richardson. I hope you enjoy the perks of membership. Thank you as well to all of my channel members. Your monthly support keeps me creating here on YouTube and sheet load of cards free for all. If you're ever interested in finding out more about the perks of channel membership, I do have a link in the description box below. The first card today was actually hand delivered by my friend Danny. We like to get together once a month for lunch, and not only did I get this adorable shaker card, but she gifted me with the cutest little stamp set, which I'm actually going to be using in the April 2023 sheet load of cards. I will give you a quick peek at what those look like. Julie T from Idaho sent me this rainbow themed card for a recent swap. There is so much attention to detail here. There is stitching, there is glitter, there's glossy accents. I love it. Now I sent her a rainbow themed card as well and it's up on screen now and I do have a process video if you want to check it out. It will be linked in that description box below. Nancy Stamps from Pennsylvania sent me this beautiful mini slimline card and a fun foil sticker. I have been collecting crafty stickers to put on my laptop and this just might push me to go ahead and do that. Now, if you didn't already know, earlier this month, I was the mystery guest on Stamp Wars 28, and it is a live, impromptu, kind of crazy crafting challenge. Up on screen now are the cards that I made during the live, and then this is one I made in a follow-up video. If you haven't yet seen the live or my follow-up video, I hope you'll check it out. Once again, it will all be linked in that description box below. There are rainbows everywhere on this next card, which is from Vicki R of Oklahoma. She has used my favorite color palette, hashtag Team Rainbow, to create a card using the March 2023 sheet load of cards. And I just love how her entire card base is a spectrum of colors. Nancy H. from Idaho sent in this lovely nautical themed card. Even though it might not look familiar to you, it is a sheet load of cards. This is the layout that I shared as an exclusive for the recent Card Maker Success Summit, and I think you'll see a couple more throughout this video. Christine L. from Canada shared two cards with me this month, and I believe it's her first time sending some in for the Show Us Your Sheet Load. 
On the left is a Christmas card using the March 2023 sheet load of cards. She says she tries to get 10 holiday cards done a month. And on the right is a gorgeous fun fold card she made. And look how when you untie the lace, it opens up. I just love that. Lori Kay from Minnesota sent in four cards this month. On the left are two different versions using March 2023. Then in the middle, she has did a little rewind to February 2021. And over all the way to the right, she has also used that exclusive Card Maker Success Summit layout. Love them all. Barb S. from Florida shared three cards and a nice note with me this month. She has used all of the 2023 issues so far. In the center is January, over on the right is February, and on the left, the Thinking of You card is from March. And I just had to share part of her note there because I love that header at the top. Barb, if you're seeing that, will you let me know where you got that? My friend Karen C. from Virginia also sent in three cards. On the outside are some cute ones using March 2023. I just love that sparkly hello. And in the center, she shared one of the cards that she made during the recent virtual Stamp Joy. I've been keeping my fingers crossed that when the in-person Stamp Joy comes around in the fall, I'll get to meet Karen in person. Up next was a package from my crafty Irish friends, Trish and Rita. Trish sent me an envelope full of cards, which we'll look at in just a minute, and this best wishes card with a note inside. Trish, I did not get a package from you last month. I even double checked. I really hope it didn't get lost and that it's going to show up. Here's a look at the cards that Trish sent in. She used the March 2023 sheet load of cards and a couple different color palettes. I love the fun embellishments and you might not be able to see it on screen, but she has embossed that white cardstock strip across the center. Rita has also shared cards using March 2023 and for these six, she has an Easter theme. Again, it's hard to see on camera, but some of these elements are glittered and it's so pretty. My crafty Danish friend Joan also sent in a package this month. I got a cute little coordinating card with note there in the center and eight lovely March 2023 sheet load of card examples. I wanted to share a close-up look at one of them. I just love this pattern paper with kind of the crafty items and the rainbows. Joan, if you're watching this, can you tell us what company that's from? Wasn't March such a cute month for my P.O. Box? If you agree, go ahead and give this video a thumbs up and let the subscribers know that you love what they sent in. And until my next video, which is the April 2023 sheet load of cards, I hope you're all having a crafty day. Bye-bye. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch all the way to the end of the video. Now I hope that you'll consider clicking on one of the playlists or videos I have linked above.